Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the new Xeon Z1 Evolution Gimbal. Uh, this is the box right over here. Now, first of all, I'm not going to show you any samples from this gimbal because I already have samples and um, it works pretty much the same as every other Z1 gimbal out there. So I have samples of myself using a Z1. Uh, they work really great and this one is the same, so it's not going to be any different. What we're looking at here is the changes they've made to the Evolution that's going to make it easier and better to work with as opposed to the older model. So the first thing we're going to look at here is the screws. So in the earlier model, they used two sets of screws. And what happened is if you had a backpack on your GoPro or not, um, you would use a short set of screws or a long set of screws. So here we're using just one screw. So if you don't have the backpack, the screw just actually goes further into the bracket. So you don't need to change screws anymore. In fact, you can even remove your GoPro without taking the screws all the way out. So you'll never lose these screws. It's a lot easier to work with rather than carrying around uh, a couple of different sets of screws. So as I'll show you here, we can just remove this. And if we need to uh, remove the backpack from the GoPro, you'll notice that this bracket is so long and threaded all the way through that this uh, screw will just run all the way through to the top and uh, you won't have a need to set, uh, carry an extra set of screws when you're not using the GoPro backpack. So that's a, a huge uh, benefit because I hated carrying those two little screws and I hated taking the screws all the way out just to get my GoPro out, but now you don't have to do that. The next change that they made is they've added a quarter 20 thread at the bottom here and that comes in really, really handy because uh, when you want to mount this on top of a monopod or even a painter's pole with a threaded mount, you can attach a stick under here and you can get some really good heights. So you don't need to carry around extra clamps or anything funky to attach this to a pole. You got a quarter 20 thread directly under here. The other thing that they've done is uh, on this model, just to make it easier to pack up, and they probably have this on the other models as well, but you just loosen up this bottom bracket here and then that'll allow you to travel with it a lot smaller. Um, so that's uh, another thing that they've done. And then over here they've added a joystick with an on off button here onto the side. All right, and so to power this gimbal on, we just have the on off button here. We also have the joystick and you can press the joystick in uh, to change modes as well as to turn the gimbal on or off uh, or to turn the motors on and off. Um, so what we do is we just press the on off button and then we hold this joystick down for a second and then the unit powers on. So there you go. Once again, this gimbal works really, really well, just like the other Z1 gimbals out there. Very stable. So if you want to see samples of that, check out my uh, videos and there's other videos online as well. But uh, that is the difference between the new evolution as opposed to the older ones. Again, they've upgraded the screws so you don't need to carry two extra screws and they've added a tripod mount to the bottom of the handle so you can just attach it to some sort of pole and get some really good high shots or jib-like shots. Anyways, that's just a quick look. More information about this stuff, check it out on the blog, cheesycam.com.